Greetings there, fellow makers. Welcome down to the shop. We are live here in the shop. I'm Bill, and today I'm going to do some drawing. I'm channeling my inner uh, Jazza. <laughs> if you guys aren't watching Draw with Jazza, you ought to go check out his channel. He does some fun live streams where he takes suggestions from the audience, from you guys, or from his fans, and, and does some drawings. I have a thing I want to work on, just uh, a goofy, fun project. I'm going to Designer Con in a couple of weeks. And they do a lot of toys, little sculptures, and I want to make something for that. So I want to make a little robot. I have uh, no idea what my robot's going to look like, but that's what the prop tarts are for. We've got our live chat going right now, and I'm going to be taking ideas from them, from you guys, and coming up with uh, a general design thing, and then I'm going to draw it. And hopefully by the end of this I'll have a really cool looking little robot and then I can build it and have something to uh, show off and possibly sell at designer con so follow along why don't you and we'll uh, work out a little bit of a robot together what bot should what style of bot should bill draw? all right we got some fun options all right we're gonna create Poll, and the prop tarts are going to vote on it. So I'm going to drop this link in the chat there. Go vote on the robots, everybody, and we'll give that, let that go for a little while. and we'll see what I have to draw. Here we go. Our uh, top three here, the drones, the Fallout robots, and the Iron Giant. We're going to grab those and do a final, final vote on those. I know I'm going to post the link right now. All right, everyone, go vote on the final three choices. I like all three of these. I'm very excited to see how uh, how it turns out. But I would be very happy to draw and build any of these three. We got it. We've got, we're gonna go with the Iron Giant slash Jaegers thing. I'm um, thinking a cross between the two. So definitely humanoid, something that's supposed to look like it's really big and uh, kinda got that fun proportion thing going on. Maybe with some weapons. How does our robot get around? Really cool Razor Scooter. <laughs> Alright, does he, uh, does he have legs? Alright, I'm creating this poll. Go! Pick how our robot gets around. <laughs> it's very close between legs and flight. So we're going to give it another minute. And then we're going to call it. Just to... Oh! Oh, it's tied! The next person that votes is can be the tiebreaker between wings and legs. There it is! Wings! Wings are the winner! Awesome! Cool, we've got some three basic ideas very quickly sketched out. I'll do some more specific drawing later, but we have the copter, the jetpack, and the wings. And our prop tarts are voting on that right now. Wow, Jetpack is taking a commanding lead, and I'm very excited about that. Because he uh, no, no, have to make legs. <laughs> jetpack for the win. So our winner is Jetpack, and I'm very excited about that. That means I'm, I'm going to go with this kind of style, and he doesn't need to have legs. I'm going to make I'm going to make the jet the main sort of design for our character, and kind of build everything around it. Ooh, I like that. That's kind of cool because I could do like, like, uh, just lines and it could look like a, a smile or it could be like like this to make it look more like a scowl here I'll show you guys so I can make them happy or sad just with some some grill lines that really does kind of it's exactly what the mechanism is but it's pretty good robot beard um I like that Let's, let's see what he looks like with a kind of a grill smile. Uh, 
It actually looks kind of sinister that way. <laughs> maybe, maybe he needs to look up just like kind of stern. Just like. Like that. And then maybe. Maybe he's got a little, little beard thing going on there. That's all right. That's kind of fun. I'm gonna outline everything with a sharpie just to make it easier for you guys to see, and then uh, we'll see where we are with that and how happy I am with it, and uh, we'll go from there. Look at that! I made a robot. Ooh, fuel tanks on the back. I like that. Uh, I'm just going to make a note of that. Here's our final robot. I will, of course, go back in and do more design, specific de design stuff for... Uh, eventually, what I'm going to do is uh, draw this all out, probably in Fusion 360, to make a 3D model, print it, and mold it and cast it. But this is a really great start, I think. I uh, made a note over here. Um, someone had the idea to put uh, fuel tanks on his back, and I like that. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to draw that right now, but I have a note to do it there. Um, so yeah, there is our robot that I uh, designed with the help of our prop tarts in the chat. And I think uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm excited to, uh, to make this dude and uh, enroll with it. So cool. Thanks so much for all the help, you guys. That was super fun. There is our robot. Robot design, which is really fun. Hopefully my goofy little uh, design by committee robot drawing. Uh, I'm definitely going to send this to Jazza and see what he has to say about it. <laughs> of course, uh, if you guys want to check these things out live, we do them noon Pacific on Tuesdays from our shop here over on twitch.tv slash props. Go on over there, give us a follow so you get notifications whenever we do them. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully make this, build this into a real thing in the next week or week and a half and then uh, we'll have it with me at uh, Designer Con in uh, LA, which I just got back from, but I will be going back to in less than two weeks. Uh, thanks again so much for hanging out, Prop Tarts. Thank you so much for helping me design my robot and I will see you all on the next live stream. <laughs>